Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Forms plus a pivot table in Google Sheets to create a progress tracker. I wrote about this last week in the context of creating a reading log, but you could use this for tracking progress towards any numerical goal that your students have, whether that's pages read, time spent playing outside, or any other numerical goal that you can think of. To do this, I've already made a simple Google form where I just ask students for their names, the goal that they're working towards, and in this case, the number of pages that they read today. So they're going to fill out this form every day that they do any kind of independent reading. Now, in my responses, and I already have some in here, we're going to select View Responses in Sheets. We'll see the responses that I have in here. Now we can see that Sam has a goal of 100 pages and his daily entries. We also see Jan has a goal of 100, but she's only read 38 pages in her one update. Uh, Emma has a goal of 200 and she's been working on that. Now, in a small sample size like this, I could probably add this up on my own and keep track of it fairly easily. But in a realistic classroom where you have 25 or 30 students working towards this goal, might be a little bit more difficult to track manually. So we'll select data and select pivot table. And in the right hand column that's now open, the pivot table editor, we'll select rows and your name. Select rows and your goal. And then number of pages read today. And we can see how this chart is now filling in for us. Then at the bottom of the same pivot table editor, select values and number of pages read today. And we now see our totals. We can see Sam here has a goal of 100 pages read and his total so far is 54. So he's getting pretty close to his goal. He's halfway there. Now, if your students come and enter more data into the form. Your form responses sheet will also be updated, which means you'll then need to update this pivot table. And you can do so by updating the cell you see at the end of the row here, or by simply running this again. So if you want to see progress over time, we could go in and let's say that our student Emma, who has the goal of 200 pages, puts in her entry and she's read 27 more pages today. And she updates that. We'll notice that Emma has now been updated. And so what I'm going to do is just run that pivot table again and again go to rows, I'll add name, goal, pages read today, and then values, number of pages read today, and we see Emma's new total is 76. And I can compare that to the previous pivot table that I, that I ran in the same Google Sheet. So that's how you can create a progress tracker by using Google Forms and a pivot table in Google Sheets. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.